Mr. Leong says he, they've now they've got nothing to uh, object to Seeker and other FDAs. I think it's an important statement, and I would like that recorded. I think we all need to note that. But assuming that, then we have over 20 FDAs. Uh, point of order, point of order. Mr. Leong. Uh, I think the minister is misquoting me. I say I'm supporting FTAs and in general, including SECA, but I, I didn't say I'm supporting SECA wholeheartedly. We need more information. So okay. you're supporting or not supporting? We have not enough information to support. So are you supporting or not supporting? If you have not enough information, so are you supporting or not supporting? I'm not very clear. I'm not supporting. So you're yes. not supporting SECA or FTAs, is that right? The FTAs, we need more information as well on a case-by-case no, no, case basis. So I'm, I'm trying to understand what your position is. Are you so you're not supporting FTAs and including SECA, is no, that right? We are, we are supporting FTAs in general for the fact, for the, 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 the benefits the FTA can bring, trade to our country, investments and all that. But we are concerned that modern FTAs do have provisions on the movement of natural persons. And so, for each FDA, we want to look into the details. That's what we are saying. Minister. Uh, sir, uh, I'm quite confused by the answer. I'm quite confused as well. Uh, so, may I ask, sir, through you to Mr. Leong, uh, one, just tell us does he and PSP, or do, yeah, does he and does PSP support FTAs? A simple answer will do. Mr. Leong? We support FTAs in general. Thank you. Would that include, sir, a support for SICA? Yes. Uh, in general. Yes. Let's then have that recorded as he and PSP support seeker and FDAs in general. Now, may I then ask, why is seeker specifically identified in the motion when I assume there is nothing to distinguish between seeker and other FDAs in Mr. Leong's mind? Mr. Leong? As I've said in my speech, we do not have full disclosure on the movement of natural persons provisions in SECA yet, and also some of the other FDAs. So we would like to know more. Before we know more information about that, we cannot shut off discussion on the FDAs and SECA, which the government is trying to do. After the July 6 ministerial statement, next day in the Straits time, the government straight away say SECA has no effect on our ability to regulate immigration. But the data provided by the government is not conclusive. The government just quoted one year ICT number, 500 ICT in 2020, which is a COVID year. You know, the government didn't even provide the data to prove its point. So that's what I'm driving at. And as a result, although the government may say, yeah, we have told you many, many times and we have discussed this again and again. But each time, the disclosure is incomplete. That's why we have to continue discussing. Because sometimes the time allowed for the discussion and the debate is also not sufficient. And of course, on the 6th July ministerial statements, because we are going to file this uh, uh, motion, we are also holding back some of the things we want to discuss. But today, we can discuss everything. Minister, Minister. thanks. Sorry, sir. Again, I'm a bit confused. My question was a simple one. Um, it's simply that 
If you look at the motion which I read out, it highlights seeker. I'm just trying to understand whether seeker has a special place in Mr. Leong's uh, affection and mind, or is it treated the same as all the other FDAs? And if it's the same as all the other FDAs, why is seeker getting special mention? That's all. A simple answer would do. Mr. Leong. The focus of the debate today is on the impact of our foreign talent policy on jobs and livelihood. So we are focused on all the work pass holders, not one particular nationality. But Mr. Leong, if you can answer the minister's question, which is a straightforward one, because if it's just FDAs in general, then why is SICA being flagged up specifically? Because there are data we want to know more about SICA. No, but you do want to know more data about any of all the other FDAs, right? From what you were alluding to earlier? Yes, that's why so we have... why no mention of the other FTAs, but SICA in particular? No, but in our motion, we say FTAs and SECA. Right, so FTAs are inside the motion. Minister? Uh, I think Mr. Leong doesn't know his own motion. It says in some FTAs, like SECA, so there are some FTAs which don't concern him, and there are some FTAs which concern him. This is your own motion, Mr. Leong. Yes. Just tell us what it means and why seeker. Yes, I say some FTAs like SECA. So these are the FTAs, including SECA, they are one which, which ones? Sir, if I may ask, which ones? Mr. Leong. Including the Australian F FTAs, the China FTAs, the US FTAs, for example. Yeah. So, uh, may, sir, may I ask through you, which aspects of the China FTA, the US FTA, and the Australian FTA uh, bothers Mr. Leong, like Seeker? Mr. Leong. Okay, for the Australian FTA, the Australian FTA also contain a clause on the I, allowing the ICT to bring in dependence. For the China FTA, we are looking at the China FTA to compare with the SECA FTA, because both countries have very big population. For the US FTA, we have received feedbacks from residents about why US citizens are allowed to buy properties in Singapore without paying the ABST, the additional buyer's stamp duty. So some of these FTAs, as I say, we have to look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. Thank you. Sir, my understanding, therefore, is that Mr. Leong is equally concerned about the US FTA, the China FTA, the Australian FTA, and SICA, and that SICA is not specifically being singled out. If I may just have that confirmation before I move on. Mr. Leong. That is correct, Minister. 